Simon Pegg is being faced with backlash for just being the Hogwarts Legacy game, and as many know, Simon Pegg is known for leaning more towards the liberal side, and here, we are seeing the woke mob and even his own side attack him. And all of this is over J.K. Rowling's opinions on trans activism. Once again, Rowling has never said anything bad towards trans people, just simply stating that there's a difference between being born a female or male genetically compared to transitioning into one of those genders. But yet again, we are seeing and people are acting as if she is some sort of heretic and must be silenced and canceled, which has been failing. But Simon Pegg isn't the only one that's face, uh, facing backlash. We're also seeing another star, Sebastian Croft, who is a voice actor for one of the two playable characters. And he would take to Twitter and pretty much bend the knee to this minority group of individuals. And this is what you have to say. I was cast in this project over three years ago, back when all Harry Potter was to me was the magical world I grew up with. This was long before I was aware of J.K. Rowling's views. I believe wholeheartedly that trans women and women and trans men are men. You see, if these people just didn't have to bend the knee towards these people and just shut up or ignore the whole situation, they would gain so much more respect from the majority of the public. Or just simply saying that I like Harry Potter franchise and I'm going to be in it. They would just gain so much more respect, but yet they're continuing to bend the knee to this small group of individuals. But most of the backlash is being pointed towards Simon Pegg, as we've seen here. I am so crushed to learn he's transphobic and racist. He's so transphobic for being in a game that J.K. Rowling herself isn't even involved in. That is why he's transphobic, ladies and gentlemen. He continues on, I won't hate Simon Pegg because a job is a job, just like I won't hate on the devs. But buying the game, you're allowing J.K. Rowling to get more money. And she has publicly stated she thinks her royalties she gets means those people support her transphobic views. She's never said that, and we've even seen trans artists support J.K. Rowling by buying up her own books, ripping off her name from her books, and reselling it to these people for hundreds of dollars over retail. And yet, people want to buy this game just so they can have some enjoyment out of it and have fun. But apparently, that isn't good. They want this game to be completely canceled. And as we've seen, this game is the most hyped up game for 2023. It just continues on. Supporting a transphobe, transphobe's work that keeps her relevant in the media is bad, actually, Simon. I hope you are really, really ashamed of yourself and know trans people all over the world are deeply disgusted by your decision. Not all trans people are disgusted. It's these lunatics that are so far, so far gone from this world and not being able to respect other people's opinions and just automatically assuming that everything's transphobic or racist. These are the people that are hating on people like Simon Pegg and J.K. Rowling. It just continues going on. You are better than supporting a transphobic bigot, this person would say. And then you also have this person. Does he support transphobia or has his career tanked and he is that hard up for cash? You know, Simon Pegg is worth $25 million. I don't think he is pegged up and wanting more cash. I think Simon Pegg will be far more successful than this person will ever be in their entire life. Anyways, I'll give you guys' thoughts on this. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.